Aquaman just needs his homepage redone. He's like, look, I'm not going to be racist, but unless you have web fingers, you're not my guy. Now entering Nerdist.com. Everybody and welcome to this week's episode of the Half Hour Happy Hour with Allison and Alex. I'm Allison Hayslip. And I'm Alex Albrecht. This week, like every week, we are going to sip some booze and spit some news, as it were. Uh, sitting in with us, like every week. Have you missed a week? I don't think you uh, have. No. No. And I'm happy about that. This show that. would not happen if he ever missed a week. <laughs> Tom's, is uh, Mr. Uh, sexy himself, Ooh. Tom, Super Volcano Krajewski. How are you doing? Yeah. Good, 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 good. good to be here. Okay, listeners. Yeah. We have a surprise oh, for you. I'm a listener. You're a listener. To you. You're listening to me. I hear you. But this was a shout out to the listeners at home. What's up? Or in their cars or at work or wherever you might be listening to this podcast. We have a surprise. Mm. For the first time ever in half hour, happy hour podcast history. Okay. We have a guest Where? on a regular show. What? This is true. Yes. Yes. Where We've only he? done guests at live shows. Yeah. Oh, yes. yes. But now we have a guest on a regular show. This is true. Because we took this opportunity. Yeah. Because this guest flew in all the way from London. For this for specifically, this. right? This was exactly. Or he just why, happened right? to be in town, and I was like, "Let's get you on the podcast, my dear friend, Greg Foot." Hello, Hi. Greg. Hi, Greg. Hello. Hi, Greg. Hello. For those of you who at home are like, "Who's Greg Foot?" Uh, I want to know who Greg Foot is. Yeah, who are you? Who are you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, he's Give a, us his CV. He's a scientist. Oh, and he does like these awesome shows all around the UK. What? Uh, he did like when I was in London. It wasn't the last time I was there, but recently he did like a children's show. And I think you've talked about yeah, this show I'm on sure the ha- show. Yeah, I think I did. It's very meta. Um, oh, I feel blessed. I know. But he also, like, you, you've been on a lot of UK TV, and you currently mm-hmm. have a radio show. Mm-hmm. He's also in, the next Doctor the Who, I heard. And, I heard that too. <laughs> Don't say that yet. Oh, okay. I heard that too. He's also very attractive. I'm sorry you listeners can't see him. Uh, but so I'm, I'm blushing. Maybe uh, we'll, we'll take a picture and use yeah. it as the album cover. Oh, there we so go. We can, that's good. I can't um, stop staring at him. Greg, did I about Greg, likewise? Did I about nail it? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much right. Yeah. So yeah, I'm yeah. a scientist by training. Um, I really enjoy chatting to people about how the world works. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm super curious, so I just kind of went and turned that into a job. Is climate change real? Yes. <laughs> No shit! Oh, God. No shit! <laughs> why, why did you ask a scientist <laughs> such specific questions? Because uh, the rest, so, so everything's pissing Greg, me off what, this week. What it was your sort of like, because you didn't get a degree in science. What was the science? specific? I'm a doctor of science. Were you like? So I actually did. I got a degree in really? what's known as that natural sciences at Cambridge oh, yes. University. Okay, which yeah. is a bit of everything. Oh, like yep. Cambridge. Yep. I know that sounds clang. I know that sounds uh, <laughs> really fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I was like, I don't want to be stuck in a lab so yeah. i left and got yep. into telly and uh now youtube more than telly because you yeah. know that's more of a thing that's the future that's yeah. where the kids yeah, are yeah. the present yeah, yeah. it's the it's the now it's the now <laughs> it's the now and the then mm-hmm. um yeah so i just go around and and what alison was talking about was a was a big theater tour that i did uh in the uk last year where i essentially went and blew things up on stage it was real cool what? That's and we got so to like cool. throw ping pong balls around and yeah so the idea yeah. was everyone comes into the auditorium and they have to write down like what is their most curious question oh great and then, okay uh, twice during the show i face their questions live with like no safety net Amazing. And the yeah. rest of the time I'm answering questions like how fat do you have to be to stop a speeding bullet? Really? Yeah. yeah. And stuff like that. Using you know, And then he shoots a stuff. bullet into fat. Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. So so I mean there's a lot of sub questions. What I would say, what was the biggest what was the, the question that you got during that tour that you were like, that's the closest to meh, I don't really know, kind of a question. You know what I mean? Oh, you know what? Kids, like seven, eight year olds, yeah. are the cleverest, like most insightful people <laughs> on the face of this planet yeah can they run our country <laughs> oh, you know what they could yeah <laughs> yeah some could argue a lot better but basically they the, the questions they asked are just phenomenal but yeah. some of them are just brain boggling like hey what was before the big bang or like i've heard of super string theory what's that about and i would literally <laughs> sit up there and go uh <laughs> <laughs> yeah you're like sorry what uh well let me back up okay so string theory i know about super string theory i think silly string theory i don't know <laughs> That's, that's probably that's what the kid what you was thinking. Just had a can of silly yeah, string. Just, yeah, just be like something shiny. <laughs> yeah. Next question. Yeah. Like, that that was just a can of silly string. <laughs> Next question. Yeah, wasn't it great? Yeah. 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 That's so my super string theory. What's the radio show you're currently doing? Is it, it's a science radio show? It's not, you know. So oh. um, I've always done science. And you're just charming on radio. <laughs> well, someone got in touch and they were like, look, I've, I've seen your YouTube stuff and your telly stuff. And um, would you like to come and host a radio show? And I was like, uh, 
it's science, right? And they're like, no, no, it's not. Hmm. Um, so they asked if I'd come and wow. um, be the drive time presenter. So drive time's 4 p.m. till 7 p.m. Oh, uh, got it. For one yeah. of the biggest, rush hour traffic. Yeah, one mm-hmm. of the biggest commercial radio stations. Drive time, um, it's called. That's so cool. So you, yeah. what, do you play drive music? Time. Drive, drive time. time. Yeah, loads of music. Oh, loads of music. What? Um, so you're like, like a, a disc DJ. jockey. Disc jockey. <laughs> <laughs> just, oh, you're like a disc jockey. Is that a, is that a phrase that people <laughs> still use? Jacking your discs all over the place. Um, I didn't realize that. Yeah. Where, where, where can we have some UK listeners? So where can they listen to you? Okay, so uh, I host Drive Time for Heart Radio, uh, which is mm-hmm. and in Kent, which is like one of their biggest regions, which is super fun. So I've moved down to Kent for it, just out of London. I know. Oh wow. Um, yeah, and then like if you're into YouTube, then check out Earth Lab which is the science channel mm-hmm. I do. Uh, or just type my name in and you'll find a bunch of other stuff that I do for other people, which is why I'm out here. Yeah, Greg know. Foot's an easy name to type in. It is. Greg Foot. Greg Foot. Without any. Without any at Without the end. Without any. Which I embarrassingly... Yeah, forget that. that. How that long have and you're known my friend. How, How long, long have we known each other for? Uh, three. Sorry, I've got my mouth five, in I feel like booze. more like five That's years. Good. <laughs> three, years? three years? Never have to four apologize years? for three having your mouth in booze. Greg and I shot a BBC America pilot together. Oh, fun. Whenever... Three or four years ago. Yeah, three or four, if not more. Yeah, exactly. Um, and the pilot didn't go, but our friendship remained. Oh, that's yeah. sweet. That's the most important. Yay! Which, which was it? I feel like I auditioned about three years ago for a BBC pilot. Uh-oh. Or BBC American Getting ready one. to run out the door now. With, and it was no. like a sort of science one. It was comparing tech. It was yeah. like there there were various hosts and like if like the pilot we did was uh, cameras, like which is the best camera. Oh, And no. so we had to like... Consumer reports for... We, well, we 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 put the tech through like extreme situations. Oh, cool. Got it. Uh, to see whose whose camera, you know, took better pictures in sub zero temperatures. Yeah, or, shit like that. Well, yeah. dropping out of a plane was the last yeah. one we uh, jumped Thank out Greg of a plane. Skydived. Yeah, with cool. uh, I took a picture did... of bees. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you were really extreme. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway. well, she's deathly allergic for bees, yeah. so it was just as death. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There's one sting, and she's dead. Um, I realized I should probably give a little recap because before the last mm-hmm. episode we recorded was right before I left for New York and I realized I was going to tell people about the shows that I saw. Oh, right. Yes. Yeah. 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 Um, so I saw Dear Evan Hansen and it deserves every to- Tony nomination it is up for and it should win all of those okay. nominations. It's so, 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 so good. So if you make it to New York, anyone who's listening, yep. try, try to get tickets to Dear Evan Hansen. It's absolutely worth it. Um, and then I saw... Um, the play that goes wrong. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, it's, oh. oh, that's right because it's a British. It's, it's a, a British, British show. thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So oh, this is the one that started in the pub and yes, then exactly. made its way up. Yeah. So then it went to uh, the Edinburgh Fringe Festival, which happens every mm. year. Oh yeah, yeah. Just an amazing place to see just like hundreds, thousands of shows. Yeah. Um, and then they went to off uh, Broadway. Right. And now they're West End. Yeah. Then, then they went on to West End, and now they're now they're touring. Oh, it's so good. It is. It's really. It's fantastic. Um, I mean, it's not like, you know, it's not as like meaningful as Dear Evan Hansen. No. Yeah. But. <laughs> It's almost, it, I relate it to it because I feel like we're kind of like the podcast that goes wrong. It's like everything uh, that could go wrong does yeah. go wrong. It's like that's what the play is. It's And it's like the the actors in the play have fake bios for their the actor that oh, they're cool. playing. That's oh, fun. that's it's, fun. It's, it's that's really, awesome. it's really clever. They did a, um, they did a Christmas pantomime version. Oh, really? Of Peter Pan. <gasps> oh, right. my and God. It, and, and the set revolves 360. Oh, my God. So gosh. the whole idea is that you're watching like a, like an amateur dramatics like show that goes wrong. Obviously, mm. you can yeah. see the title. And uh, everything starts going crazy and bits fall off like the yeah. boat and off oh, the roof. Funny. And <laughs> that's cool. amazing. So, people, I mean, get, people get hurt. It's like, oh. yeah, it's just, that if you're looking awesome. for like yeah, that sounds fantastic. just a, a two hour laugh fest, like that's yeah. what it is. So there you go. That's my recap. Is it funnier than this show? Because I laugh a lot Hells during no. the show. Okay. This is the Hells funniest thing no. ever. There ain't no ever nothing. No uh, funnies better. Are we going know. to some emails? Uh, yeah, let's do some emails. Okay, you made the move to the computer. Like that's what well, was going to happen. I was prepping. Okay, I felt it. I felt cool. the uh, tide shifting. Well, I just forced it that way. So. <laughs> yeah, well, the force is strong with this yes! one. Yes! Uh, <laughs> all right, let's see. Oh, here we go. Let's do this one. Uh, power outage. Oh, dear. Yeah, this is the name of the... Yeah. Is the Who's it, the, it from? Uh, this is... We'll wait. Oh, okay. Hello, Quad H peoples. My name is Joseph. Hi, Joseph. And hello, Allison. 
<laughs> I love that. Uh, I'm writing just to say that as of 30 minutes ago, I was in the middle of replaying Fallout 4 Ooh. for the 14th time. Wow. Love that game. When a thunderstorm knocked out all of my power. No! <laughs> awesome. It is literally the worst thing that ever happens to people. Uh, after five minutes, I was already losing my mind when I realized I had an episode of the podcast on my phone. Yay! Nice. Long story, only slightly shorter. Your podcast kept me sane during this time, which proves without question that the podcast's superpower is to defeat the weather itself. Yes. Wow. I will take that. Looking That's... forward to continuing continued episodes, Joseph. Uh, did, I t- did I talk on the last show about my power going out? We... Uh, I mean, in, in a specific instance? Yes. Really? No, 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 no. And specifically we, about we've the power talked about, We've talked about oh, how no. when the power goes out, I'm going to come over oh. here. Yeah. Because so, so please, if you've heard this, maybe skip for 45 seconds. Uh, I mean, what are no, we talking I don't about? Think, I don't five, think, 10 minutes. Yeah. Uh, so I got... <laughs> I got my power wall installed, which we talked about. Yes. Right? Yeah. Uh, one of the first hundred on the planet Woo! installed on the back wall. I'll show you when we're walking please, out because it's just fancy. Oh, it's I'm very loving, fancy. I'm loving the pad. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, Greg yeah. just got a Welcome scientist boner. Uh, <laughs> so here's the thing. When they, t- when they called me, they were like, look, here's the deal. We're going to install it. Like the car, there's going to be software updates, which will make you be able to u- or will allow you to use the battery in different ways. But as it stands right now, you need to b- sort of be okay just using it as a backup in case you lose power. Right. Right? And so I was like, yeah, sure, whatever. Blah, blah, blah. I want it because it's Tesla. I want it. I want it. So give it to me. Yeah. Uh, So they finally scheduled the install. They were like, okay, so we're going to install it. They're going to come by on Friday to do the install. Right? This was two Fridays ago. Okay. And I was like, this is awesome. I love it. Boom, boom, booms. Uh, (laughs) Wednesday. Okay. Two days before this thing was installed. Yeah. Who's only ability to do anything is to be back is up to power back up our house in case we lose power right we have lost power probably the last time was probably two and a half years ago okay right what two days before two days before power, power goes, goes out, out. <laughs> why power goes out for out. five hours why? Yeah. somebody fucking did dipped a flip and switched or hit <laughs> that's car, crazy hit a pole. 1800 people no power oh, and by but, the I way mean, this is what's crazy about it, is i don't live that far from you and i oh that yeah. didn't happen to me yeah it was yeah. it was like anything south of the main road was uh, out anything north was fine huh. but it was one of those things where i was like you've got to be fucking kidding me in two days de- if they had waited two days I would have been able to generate all, use the power from the solar panels because you can't use the solar panel power when right. the power goes out because they cut you off from the grid, which oh. is like because they cut you off from the grid because you'd be pushing power back and they'd be trying to fix it knowing oh. there wasn't any power, oh. but you'd be shoving power oh, down course. there yeah, yeah, yeah. and you could electrocute them. So they cut you off from the grid Jeez. unless you have a power wall. Because that backup. just stores it. Yeah, because yeah. it goes, we've now cut you off from the grid, but the power wall is still connected to the house and it's using extra energy from the grid, yeah. from the uh, uh, solar panels. Yeah. I was so fucking pissed. Well, but now you know the need. You're, now, now the purchase of the Tesla Powerwall feels yeah. necessary. This is true, and it turns out that they, the guy, because there's like it's not quite working. Like it's working, but it's sort of like a little fucked. And they were like, <laughs> and the guy on the phone was like, "Well, in a week, we're pushing a new software update for the Powerwall and for the app that'll allow you to do all these other functions." Right. Which is why I got the thing. Yeah. Like and, use the power. Yeah, and that's the thing. <laughs> so the whole concept is it's what I want if I had a Powerwall. Yeah. Just yeah. Saying. And so the the whole concept is is that you generate energy from the solar panels. You use maybe 10%, 20% of it to actually power your house because you make way more than you need and you sell the rest back to the grid. But then when the sun goes down, you buy back from the grid again with the power wall. It fills up the battery in the mornings and then when the sun goes down, you rather than going to the grid, you pull the energy out of the battery. You drain the battery from the solar that you've already stored. Right. And then at like 10, you go pull from the grid overnight and then right. it, it, it the cycle repeats. Yeah. That's why I was excited to get it. Right. Turns out that's going to start happening by the end of next week. Woo! I know. I'm like, I'm so jacked up. It's so funny. Our podcast has become so fancy. So, so efficient. <laughs> so efficient. So efficient. <laughs> anyway, so I feel your pain because when this happened, I really started to realize, God damn it, do I rely on electricity to For entertain myself. Yeah. Yeah. What happened? Yeah. Did all the neighbors actually talk? Well, I did walk out. <laughs> well, first off, I have to say, apologize to my wife, Heather. 
because I was in the middle of playing a video game. Oh no! And the power goes out. The only usually that only happens when like she turns a hairdryer on on a certain breaker, right. and my I'm doing the computer. Oh, you so thought it was just your so house. So I literally just like my, throw my headphones on. I go, "What did you just do?" <laughs> <laughs> and Heather's like, "What?" And I was like, "Did you just do something?" And she was like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" And I was like, "The power went out." She was like, "The power went out." And I was like, yeah. "What did you do? It's all your fault." I know. I was like, "Did you hair dry? <laughs> fuck! I didn't hear the blow dryer. God damn it!" <laughs> and then she was like, dude, what? No. And then I walked out. Chill. But then it was because we've been doing all the solar shit. I was like, yeah. did fucking LADWP right. like, oh, oh, we had to do a thing where we cut your power yeah. just to try to get you back online. And so I walked outside and then there were my neighbors. And I was like, did you? And they were like, yeah, power's out. And I was like, fuck. God fuck. damn it. And then within a half an hour, I actually went to go see a movie by myself because I was like, I can't. I love I doing that. What did you go oh, see? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What did, you can't remember what you saw? Mm. Wow, it was really good, Wait, huh? No, it was Wednesday. Yeah. Uh-huh. My gosh, like how could you not yeah. remember a saw? movie you saw? Well, because I, just, like saw, I just saw Wonder Woman I'm so excited. Yesterday. I'm seeing it tomorrow. I've heard it's amazing. Yeah, it's very good. Yes. I saw it yesterday. And so then I was like, but what did I see right before that? Guardians? I, I mean, I, I, th- I saw Guardians, but maybe I thought I had already seen Baywatch? Guardians. Definitely Ooh. not Baywatch. <laughs> pirates? <laughs> I'd see Not Baywatch. Pirates either. Fuck, something. I saw something. You went it was great. porn, didn't it was really you? Memorable. It was great. So memorable. <laughs> so memorable. The performance from the guy was really good. Girl was decent. Great <laughs> wow. direction. Uh, Solid. Kids. Five, five, so, out, of five. So this, five out of five. Five out of five. This movie gets a strong half hour happy hour recommendation. Yeah, seal of approval. Great. Go see movie. <laughs> Go see movie. <laughs> when your Tesla wall is up. Yeah. Like when after this update, surely this is one of the only podcasts powered by the sun. You know what? Yeah. We should look into that yeah. because I feel like that probably is true. Yeah. Zero carbon emission podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Zero We've carbon. We've talked about being a very green Very podcast. green. We're, well, we have a green wall specifically. We do have a, yeah. a little yeah. green that wall That is just a, a physical representation of the efficiency <laughs> of this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> just in case somebody who's listening right. picks up on the audio bounce off the color of the specific wall. <laughs> Sounds green. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there so, we go. It sounds like you got like one green wall, a yellow desk. <laughs> <laughs> It's horrible, horrible. All right, another email? All right, another email. Uh, <coughs> moving right along Let's see what we got. to another email. Uh, well, first off, a lot of, lot of uh, emails we've gotten a bunch about the Kinder Eggs. Oh, yeah. Oh, but this is not this the is thing. The th- this is the thing. Yeah. Yeah, this is the thing that's very interesting. It's it's the Kinder Eggs that I originally bought you guys. The, right, Kinder, the Kinder Surprise. Kinder Surprise. It's not a true Kinder Egg. But the thing that's crazy is those were not supposed to be sold in the U.S., they weren't illegal. The Kinder Surprises? They just were never actually distributed oh, the, by the company in the U.S. Right, because where I got them from for you guys was from a French market. Right, like exactly. A, a market that specifically yeah. like ships in things Ooh, that you right. can't Le buy. Kinder. Yeah. Le Kinder. Um, Le- I don't know why I kind of made it German. Because I, uh, I saw you post a picture of some Kinder Eggs that you got. And I, was I know. Like, every time- not, and I was like, they are not. Get out of here. They are not Kinder Eggs. Right. Gr- yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. Those are the, the those things that you These see on our table, in. those were actual Kinder Eggs because I bought, every time I come visit you in London, Greg. I know, I probably should have brought you some. I, yeah, oh, you should have. Oh, oh, jeez, that's I, really I, bad. I, that's I, I smuggle in Kinder <laughs> Eggs Kinder from eggs. the UK because oh. so, I wanted to give these guys true Kinder Eggs because we, we had yeah. had a Kinder Egg. This is, I mean, this has been going on over a year now, but and, we had had yeah, a Kinder well, Egg discussion and I was like, no, I swear I've seen Kinder Eggs at this market that I was thinking of. So I went and picked them up and they were Kinder Surprises, which is when the candy is on one side and the toy is on the other. Yeah, and no. that's not ones, it. Have you seen the ones that come in like a plastic, uh, almost like cup, and you peel it off and you get that's a spoon? the one. That, that's, that's what it is. One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. other side of the egg, is the, the toy. other is half the toy. is the toy. So the toy You've actually got to break yeah. into it. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> but it's illegal in the U.S. to have a toy inside food. What about Cracker what? Jack? Isn't that a toy inside food? Uh, but Did the toys, the toys the, wrapped. The toys inside a box also containing food. But yes. it's not wrapped. inside. Food. These are inside a little oh, plastic, you know. Yeah, yeah, but they're actually in. By the way, this we have talked about this. That this law has been around since like what 1922. <laughs> yeah, it's dumb. We've it's a dumb law. Yeah. So it was like about people like putting pennies in fucking cupcakes and being like, if you eat the penny, then you win or you die. <laughs> yeah, well either see. way, well surprise. See. You know what I mean? Like, uh, yeah, if so, somebody finds the quartz stone right. in the so middle. Now of the Kinder cookie. surprises are being sold in the U.S. regularly. Uh, it's like, like Tim Tams are finally being yeah, sold here. Yeah. They're being distributed but, yes. through the U.S. Even though you could acquire them when but, people were bringing them in, or, or yes, you know, exactly. Them but through. that's still not a true Kinder Egg. Still not. Still a true not a true Kinder, Kinder Egg, guys. Totally. I'm so sorry. Totally. I know. 
Greg knows. No, I'm waving Greg, my finger. Greg, oh. li- Greg lives in the land of Kinder Eggs. Hey, so... Uh, yeah. Kinderland. All right, let me... King- Kinderland. 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 Yeah. <clears throat> I'm the Duke of Kinderland. Uh, <laughs> Kinderling? That's bad. Uh, that's when you use children for kindling. Oh, Kinderling. <laughs> How are we going to stop Lord. this fire? Well, we got seven we got- children. <laughs> we probably only need to keep two. Yeah, so we got like five Kinderlings. Just to help work the How fields. How would you choose which one's going to go the best? Well, it's smallest. Just make them fight it out <laughs> yeah. to the death. The bigger they are, more, you know, fat, That's true. That is you know? true. More burning. Yeah, maybe more, one small one for burning. the quick fire and then one big one for the slow burn. Fatter anyway, so it smells oh, like I bacon. I did something about spontaneous. Nice. Human combustion. You oh, did? Oh, nice. Yeah, what? yeah. And we, we did it with a pig. It was on a TV show, and the pig was dead. Uh, and <laughs> well, after, well, after the show, combusted. yeah, exactly. Yeah. And we looked at a whole load of things like what's the effect of a belly flop from like a really high, oh, that's you know, cool. big height and oh all that gosh. sort of stuff. And then we looked at whether spontaneous human combustion could be a thing. Could Have it? Have they ever figured out what it could be? Yeah, so basically, it's like a reverse candle. So it's like oh, weird. the fat or the fuel on the inside and the wick on the outside, which is the clothing. Oh. So it, that kind oh. of the, the, this is really macabre. No, I like no, it. It's fine. Oh. We talk about weird what shit is on this the, show. What is the, is it like I walk by a, a fire and all of a sudden I spontaneously combust or is it well, like I don't know, too much friction when I'm walking with People like, with oh, my... you know, I fell asleep in front of the fire or dropped a cigarette on or something. But the yeah. interesting thing about a cigarette, like the whole idea about if you drop a cigarette in a pile of petrol at a, at a gas station, it yeah. won't actually go up despite seeing what you see Why? in the movies. Oh what? my gosh, oh. Zoolander's a lie? Robocop's a lie? Yeah, he could turn right. All yeah. the movies is a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Because because uh, the end of the cigarette, the ash yeah. basically stops uh, the, 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 the source fuel of getting the heat. It? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's known as a Faraday's lamp, I think. Oh, oh what? Yeah, Interesting. So, it, so it doesn't actually kind of go up. Anyway, hey. So you're saying smoking is safe. I can go smoke. I don't, I don't think I'm that's what he said at all. I'm definitely not saying that. <laughs> I'll be okay if I smoke. I don't know. I heard, uh, I heard a scientist once on a podcast, <laughs> yeah. not about science, say that it was okay for me to smoke. I still think we need a disclaimer Tobacco. on this show that's like, don't follow through on anything that we say. <laughs> Although the deer thing saved a man's car. Oh, yeah, car. the deer thing. You're right. Never mind. Yeah. Just, just, you know. Follow pick, everything we say. Pick and choose wisely. How about that? <laughs> yeah. Use discretion. Yeah. We're not going to tell. It's a little bit like a kinder surprise. Yeah. We're not going to tell you what part's going to kill you. Yeah. <laughs> but some of it may actually save you. Right. Right. So we're saying we asterisks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, you know, oh, this show is all asterisks. <laughs> oh, <That's> yeah. asterisks. <laughs> there, nothing is written without asterisks. No, nope. and obelisk, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. One so you, big obelisk. You're saying we can spontaneously combust? Um, I'm saying that, that, that there is a condition in which that can happen. Really? Once wow. the once the kind of fire has taken Does, place, or the sp- you know that that source of heat has started the ignition, and it, then then your fat would start yeah fueling okay. you. Does like Ew. blood alcohol content have anything to do with that? <laughs> you know, I want to make sure. Yeah, did was the <laughs> yeah okay was the pig like completely pig smashed? <laughs> no. Okay, no. all right, good. Well, then the sa- science doesn't know yet. <laughs> no. science has no these, answer to that yet. There, these are the questions. Yeah, these are the things that need to be answered. <laughs> yeah, if something just explodes in this room and it's you, it's because of the alcohol. <laughs> For uh, sure. Was rough. For sure. Uh, all right, let's do... Uh, well, let's get into some stories. Let's get yeah, into stories. I like these stories. kinds of stories. Uh, uh, so, Greg, what airline did you fly out uh, on? Virgin. Virgin, yes, okay. Yes, that's the only way to fly. So did you hear about the British Airways? I, of course the I did. crazy Wait, what? Heathrow and Gatwick yeah, all fucked up for Yeah, it was the day before year. I flew out. I oh my know. gosh, I didn't hear no. this. What happened? All right, so, so first off, the story before this story specifically. Okay. But the story is... The story before the story. Yeah, it was Pretty a cool. couple days ago or something like that, but all the British Airway computers Ooh. in Gatwick and Heathrow all went down for like five hours. Were they hacked? Jeez. Well, they didn't know. They were like, we don't know. what. Oh my, is this a cyber attack? Is yeah. Whatever, blah, blah, blah. But people were like screwed. Delayed oh, flights. Man. All the flights in, he- in Heathrow were delayed. Yeah. Um, a lot of them, there was like 800 different flights that were canceled over the two days. People were stuck. I mean, it was Jeez. just like a bad thing. Man. So this story then came out okay. today. Great. British Airways system outage caused by IT worker who accidentally switched off the power supply. No! <laughs> Don't oh. press the big oh, red button. Oh my god! Don't never <laughs> press the big red button. So they were like, "We don't know what happened." We, you know, there was this big data center, and all of a sudden, one of the whole data nodes just went south, like out. But they had one of these um, uh, UPSs, the un- uninterrupted power supplies. Basically, it's like we have surge protectors so that we don't get like a spike of electricity go up into the computer. Right. It just sort of stops. Right. But um, UPSs are it, basically battery backups. They're basically a power wall for your computer. Got it. It's the best way to say it. Okay. It's I the understand. easiest way to say it. I understand. Uh, and then they have like gener- like diesel generators for when that battery starts to run down. So it's basically like redundant, redundant, redundant. 
Well, this fucking IT worker guy was like, oh, we got to check some system and do like a system reboot. And he walked over and just went, bang. Oh my god! Like just like pull, turned, turned it off, turned the the uh, uh, the uh, USB or UB, uh, UPS yeah. off. Wow! And Jeez. and then nobody knew what was happening because he thought it was part of the random like oh we're just doing a, a recycling reboot and checking yeah. some stuff. So he thought he was that was part of it, but he didn't realize he did that and the whole fucking system went down. Wow! And it took a long time for them to realize what it was because it was a data center. It wasn't like the main it, IT center. Yeah, yeah. So the yeah, IT yeah. people were like, "We don't what what I don't know. Is it on your end? Is it a cyber attack? Oh my god, we got to figure this out." And right. so it's, it took like six hours to get it back oh up. My god. Are you? <laughs> and it was from one fucking yeah. dude. Wow. And by the way, when I Typical used to work, Brits. when I used to work in whoa, first off, <laughs> Gosh, first off, let's find out where that thing was because it could very easily have been Irish. <laughs> don't you dare say that, Alex. I'm just saying. It's not Irish. I'm just saying. I don't know. Um, it didn't say. That's so, like, can you imagine going home from work that day and just realizing that you're the person who caused so much chaos? <laughs> oh, <laughs> hey, my honey. God. Hey, honey, how was work today? <clears throat> oh, well, yeah. you might have done a thing. Yeah. Interesting. Might, hey, did, did you, you notice that the airports are all fucked up? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, remember when I said I might have done a thing? <laughs> I, was, I was walking to get coffee and I tripped on a cable. <laughs> You it's know, just never plugged it back to, in. I, everybody's nightmare happens at Heathrow and get. And <laughs> That's insane. Get yeah, it was. Yeah. It was crazy. I was like, because I had obviously heard the news about the fact that it happened, and then it was always everybody now uh, is like cyber attack. It was the cyber. Yeah. Attack. Oh my god, cyber attack! Isn't it so sad that that's where our brains instantly go? Yeah. It's like anything that sad, bad but... happens, we're like, ah, oh, terrorists or something. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. That volcano just erupted. Fuck a terrorist. It's a terrorist. <laughs> terrorist put a bomb, a small bomb, to start a chain reaction inside the volcano. It didn't melt. And, yeah, it did, nothing happened. And then it sat there for since the 80s. Yeah. <laughs> and then somebody walked on the wrong spot, and the whole thing went gone. Oh, man. The whole thing went <laughs> the gone? The whole thing went gone. Went gone. Hey, man, that's how science works. I feel like that's like Breaking Bad. It went gone. Breaking went Bad. Gone. No. Breaking, breaking, breaking Bad. bad. I, I mean, how do you regret. say Breaking Bad? Breaking Bad. Yeah, thank you. Well, wait, say it again. Wait. Breaking Bad. No, oh, so he no. says it weirdly. Yeah, yeah but he's weird. also got. I mean, <laughs> okay, hang on, hang on. It shouldn't be super. I've just watched Breaking Bad. No, no, that's wrong. I just watched Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad. See, so no, it's not that. Yes, it is. Yeah, right. <laughs> I, just, I just watched Breaking okay, Bad. Okay, guys, no, you guys. Not, I'm with Allison. No, but I got not start no. this argument again on fuck, the podcast. Fuck you guys. It's now. <laughs> it's now two two. It's not two one. You sons of bitches. <laughs> Alice is like, Greg, right. Greg's never allowed back. For this very podcast, it Go is that. Go get on your plane. <laughs> Go get on your plane. Oh, you can't. It's closed down. Oh, good Lord. All right, what's All our right. next story? Oh, this is a great. This is a great. <laughs> these story like stories like these just make me happy to have this podcast. Oh, good. Right, good there's good, times good. when you I'm just, just like, always happy to have this podcast. I know, but there's guys. stories that I see that I'm like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I actually thought great. about the fact that there are literally no other people on this planet that I see at least once a week, except for you two. Yeah, that's... <laughs> yeah except, except I mean, well, my you wife have your and your wives, wife. Yeah. But... Yeah, yeah, yeah. but other than that, yeah. you, are cur- you are correct. Yeah. yeah. Are you sick of us yet? No. That's, that's what, good. It's amazing. Right. That's great. We've been doing this for two years now? I think so. Wow. Yeah, yeah a miracle. Years. Wasn't yeah. that in March? Wasn't it March? April? April? I, feel, I, I feel like so I remember over being two April. Years. Yeah. All right, here we go. This And this just shows you... The journalistic quality bar that we shoot for every week. Okay, cool. Here we go. <laughs> we have a bar. Don't put ground wasp nest oh. on your vagina. Oh my god! To tighten muscles. What warns gynecologist? What I saw that. Greg just got excited. Yeah, yeah. I saw that. This is a perfect story. <laughs> Don't because a what? Yeah, what? <laughs> and b why do you have to tell? Why would you have to tell? Yeah. anybody that ground yeah. up wasp nest is not good for any kind of private part. Yeah. Or anything. Like, why would it be good for anything? So here's the thing. This is an all-natural treatment yeah. for women looking to rejuvenate and tighten their vaginas. <laughs> oh, my no. gosh. But doctors, oh. like actual science people, yeah. are, have serious concerns. Yeah. my fav- But my favorite is, so basically this is a, a, gy- a gynecologist from uh, uh, Canada is basically coming out and being like, guys, wh- wh- why do I even have to tell you this? Yeah. <laughs> It is a wasp nest. Yeah. None of that. Wasp, not putting in my vagina. No. Nest, there's nothing that nests that no. I want near my vagina, right? It's not like but there's I, this like soft, cushy, like well, vaginal Well, I mean, I guess what they're spring. saying is that it's, if it's ground up, it's a powder at this point. It's not but, like. By the way, have you ever put a powder in your vagina? No, no. Is there anything that is in powder form that you're like, 
Maybe on my genitals. <laughs> no, no. I mean, I don't even like talcum well, don't powder you, on my genitals. Don't you guys put like baby powder? Yeah, but on guess your balls what? Or something all, like that. All external. All external. <laughs> Isn't that a but thing? But seriously, it's all yeah, external. That's true. It's external. We don't like try to rub it Once down again, into the tip of our penis. Once again, going back to the story of the dude I was dating, he wanted to put oh, yeah. shit true. on his dick, and I was like, <laughs> "Yep." <laughs> Sorry, what? It's a <laughs> long spider story. venom. Was it spider venom or snake venom? Like a friend of his was in like Thailand or something, and brought him back some like thing that's most supposed to make your penis like really hard. How, and he was like, I'm like, gonna put this on and then we can have sex. Venom. And I was like, No. Yeah. I was like, You're not putting that inside of me. Like, <laughs> yeah. It's on the outside of your it's penis. On the but it goes inside of you, but it's of on me. the inside of me. Surprising the number of times you say that. <laughs> <laughs> I anyway. actually one is enough. Once is enough. <laughs> you're like never. Yeah. Nothing you're doing. Needless Here's to say, that did not so work they're out. So they're, talk, they're talking about oak ghouls, aren't right? They, with yeah. This, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it's oak the place. Ghouls. It's the. It's basically where the wasps. Um, wasps lay eggs on tree leaf buds. Okay. And then those things is basically like a little sack where the larva can develop. Okay. And those sacks then dry up and become these sort of like. I guess they're called galls or whatever, but they're oak they, galls. Yeah, they look oak like galls. sort of like um, almost like if you see what uh, nutmeg looks like before it's ground. I have no idea what nutmeg okay. looks like before yeah. it's, like a, it's like a hard it's testicle. Tied. Yeah, yeah, oh, okay. it looks like a heart. Yeah, or like a nut that you'd be like, <laughs> oh, that's what a cashew looks okay. like. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, <laughs> who's the person who decided? Like, who's the first person who was like, maybe if I grind up that? First off, and somebody on who's probably very wealthy. Because what? anytime you get something that sort of catches on, like they're so, no, they no, sell no. this stuff so, on like Etsy yeah, and but stuff the, like that. First Fidget person, spinners. yeah, Was I think ever I think there's somebody think currently grinding everything and, and just th- putting and it saying on vaginas. You can sell it as uh, as you know uh, a male enhanced. The fucking they used to eat like rhino horn and shit because they were like, "Get you hard." Yeah, and it's like, really, <laughs> does it or is this just like something rare that you can shave and be like, mm, uh, "Yeah, it costs a lot of money, but it'll get you hard." Oh uh, by the way, we should all test the placebo effect of things like that. So, anyway. yeah, yeah. can I do a plug? Yes, please. Yeah. Right, so, I've started a podcast. Oh, uh, it's nowhere near as good as this one. There you go. I've got that out. Well, there. obviously, and is it specifically I mean... <laughs> about things you can do in your genitals? Um, I, mean, I mean, it is now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's called the best thing since sliced bread. Oh, it's, it's... I actually listened to the first two episodes. It's great. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Uh, and it's all about testing crazy ideas like this oh so cool like products that come out and that mm. claim to do something amazing uh-huh. yeah. it's about actually testing it finding the evidence and being like yeah but is that a thing or is it just yeah. like mm, bollocks yeah like one of those totally. episodes this I has to, to happen now i feel like you've been you have a mandate to now go home and test <laughs> the wasp Wasps. vagina theory grind up some oak galls and oak galls. yeah and find find, it, find, find a, a willing, yeah, willing yeah right yeah find some hippie that's like yeah i tried it i'm in let's do it uh my favorite though is the the last the last sentence that the doctor said is, uh, because here it says um, uh, the claims that the, the one of the retailers claims that um, it could improve your sex life and uh, used on cuts, Ooh. but it comes with a warning that the paste will hurt. Oh! <laughs> and my favorite is the gynecologist says, "quote Here's a pro tip: if something burns when you apply it to the vagina, it's generally bad for the vagina." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I was like. <laughs> Yeah, I want that yeah. on a t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Actually, that would be an amazing t-shirt. <laughs> Here's a pro tip. If it hurts when you apply it to the vagina, it's generally bad, bad for, for the, the vagina. vagina. But just Aww. like really, really ladies. I feel bad for women just because of that. Like you guys go through so much shit because of vaginas. What? what? Bleeding. Bleeding. <laughs> losing your virginity. Painful shit. What? UTIs. First off, we all lose Come our on. virginity. Yeah, what? Like, not, not, <laughs> it's not a female only thing. Yeah, yeah, that's not. I'm just talking. That you mean it's painful for, when we lose way, it for guys? Have you not... had a really bad case of blue balls? Because that shit no. fucking hurts. I, I always thought that was like a myth. No. no. It's like two watermelons dragging along really? the floor. Really? Yeah. It and hurts? if you touch them with like a feather, it's like somebody <laughs> kicks you in the Are nuts. You oh. oh. It is the worst. And once you're in a cycle for a what? day trying to get that shit out. <laughs> really? Oh. <laughs> It's so bad. Why you can't just like masturbate and get it over? You with? can, but once you once you're in the cycle, once you've gone over the edge, yeah. then you're just. I mean, that's just you know buckets out of the Titanic. You know what oh, I mean? God, like really? You're just like that's a little bit, but goddamn, there's more coming from behind it. And then you're like, well, now I've what? done that. What? So now I'm just sitting. That's yeah. Ins- really? Oh God! I'm, first off, this. Maybe, a, maybe I'm I am glad that you have not oh, yeah. had this experience. Yeah. It's a very. It is like. It's like a rogue wave. Really? Right? There's What's a, a rogue wave. There's a very specific 
Meteorological? What is it? Uh, Uh, Meteorological. Meteorological. (laughs) That's the British version. (laughs) Um, Meteorological, like, events that need to sort of, like, exactly align up in order for it to happen. Uh, But when those events do line up, God damn it. Rogue wave. Rogue fucking wave. It's really only happened to me twice in my life. Rogue wave of the balls. But the first time was really, really bad. How old were you? It was prom. It was prom. (gasps) Oh, no! It was prom! This is a made-up story. No, no I swear is, to God, it was. But, prom- but I don't want to see evidence. Junior, no. yeah, junior. Oh, I have scars. No, oh, I'm just no. kidding. That's, that's not a thing. That's Emotional. Not a thing. Good Lord. Yeah. No, it was. It was like junior year, and no. uh, I went with this with my girlfriend at the time, and we were, you know, oh, man. doing stuff, but yeah. we weren't doing it. Yeah. You know what I mean? We were doing stuff, but not it. Yeah. Oh my God. Uh, that's what you guys call the bases, right? Yeah, with the bases. Right. Had you already lost your virginity at this point, or no? You don't remember? I think so. What? Okay. I think so. So you you already it's, it's, knew. High school's a blur, man. I just <laughs> stuff happened. In, so many women. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Must have been nice, Alex. You know how it was. It was like so five. It's crazy. <laughs> that was crazy. No, no, that's, uh, that's the five fingers. Yeah, oh, damn it. Yeah. No, that's Shelly. My hand. Your hand. You no, call your hand. Shelly. I do not. I do not. <laughs> do you not. came up with that name real quick. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it sounds Didn't like five. Blink. Anyway, Shelly uh, does not sound like five. Yeah, like Chevron. Five feet. What are you yeah. talking don't try about? To get out of Anything? This. Right, get out of this bad, bad, bad. <laughs> anyway, all right, Shelly and I have to go. Uh, <laughs> no, so, but we, you know, it was like, it was one of those things where I was like, I think this is the night. This is going to be great. We're, you know, we've been going out for a while and we've been doing stuff. It's awesome. <laughs> oh, no. And, uh, and so we started getting hot and heavy. Woo. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I was like, mm-hmm. yeah, zit, zit. And then it was like, clearly she was sort of on this like maybe we're doing it maybe we're not doing it and i was like i got i'm this is happening yeah and then she was like you know what i don't think this is gonna happen and i was like right. oh that's cool that's yeah. fine not realizing the implication wow. that was about to happen because wow. we basically been like fooling around for like an hour yeah just like high school fooling around with sort of like a lot of clothes are still on right you know right, what right. i mean like and so all the juices got worked up yeah but then <laughs> I'm with this person. Oh my God. I can't just be like, hey, I'm going to go jerk off real oh, quick. Right. I got you. So because, you had to like, like, kind of sit around with it. Yeah. So then we're just sort of like hanging out. And yeah. I'm just like, all of a sudden, it's like, gung, 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 gung. And I was like, what? Why? Really? Why does it feel like somebody is constantly kicking me in the balls right now? Oh my God. And then by the time I figured it out, I was like, I got to go to the bathroom. And she's like, okay. And I went to the bathroom. I was like, oh God, please, 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 please. please. <laughs> and then it was just like, what? too late, too late. You, I was doing nothing. Again, it was Titanic. Oh, it was man. just buckets coming off the Titanic. I was like, I can't. <laughs> and then I had to go back. And then I'm just, and then it's like, yeah. you walk weird because you're oh like, my gosh. you can't. It is excruciating. <laughs> wow. It is excruciating. And I By did way, not feel I'm, better I, until like dinner time the next day. I, I don't know how I feel oh. about this. I mean, I feel like it's a testament to our friendship, but you just looked me in the eye the entire, that, st- that entire story. You didn't look at the other you. ones at all. You only looked what? right at me. <laughs> you were the almost one that needed like, to hear Yeah, it was almost like, Allison, this is your this warning. This is for you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, is there is there a female equivalent? I don't think so. You're the scientist. Yeah. Well, because the, the issue is right that I your mean, there's definitely times starts... that I've been like super turned on, but then it just kind of sort of dissipates if nothing like, happens. Oh, we, she we looked all, at me when she said that. Experienced that with a lady. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then it just sort of dissipates. <laughs> just, uh, yeah. Uh, oh, I was five minutes sorry. ago. I was ready, and then it dissipated. <laughs> just, just dissipated. Yeah. Sorry. No, it's it's definitely a thing that is not yeah. not a thing that's yeah. amazing yeah but also that should not be a reason like women no I was girls, very no, <laughs> no, don't, no. don't feel like you are required to do anything because that's was, what a guy is going through I was through. totally cool I don't know how young our listeners yeah, get I just want to make sure I was totally cool <laughs> yeah. being like no worry lady I got this yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be back a gentleman yeah. you oh my god Alex is a gentleman you, come on that so doesn't surprise me at all oh god it hurts so bad oh <laughs> just I can't even believe I had to relive that yeah <gasps> I mean I guess oh the female God. equivalent is just that like getting you, punched in the face well no I mean like <laughs> we, like Tom said it's like we have to get our periods every month and have yeah. cramps and our boobs yeah. hurt and things like that yeah. like we have to deal with general shit all the time yeah. you guys yeah, only yeah. have to deal with this I think that's this. worse to be honest yeah oh exactly God. you guys Again, only have to deal with this once in a blue it's moon it's the rogue wave intended. and by the way these <laughs> two gentlemen wave. have not experienced it I, know, so. I have and, yeah. and have not subsequently because usually I, guess, I know what I'm like yeah. fuck it I'll just go jack off in the corner Greg and I just got luckier than you yeah. Yes. You, know, you. <laughs> you dodged the bullet, yeah. sir. Man, all the ladies just took care of you guys. Yeah, yeah. We were mm-hmm. studs. Mm-hmm. All we're the ladies. Studs. She's seen us in high school. 
All studs. the ladies slayed it, Greg and me. <laughs> is that a thing? Somehow I feel like the fact that you had to ask if that was actually a thing, like, oh, we slayed it. Did I? Is that is, is that, that what I called it back then? then? I we're, like, we're like, do we get away with that? Yeah. yeah. I sure. think I went to high school with Greg. Did I go to high school with Greg? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. It was, it was, yeah. It was rad. In it was Oxford. Rad. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it was rad. Right. Yeah. I think we should wrap it up. Yeah. Right. I think yeah. so too. Um, okay. I have uh, one final announcement. Da, 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 da. This is the final week of the LLS campaign that I'm doing. Uh, if you don't know, I'm raising, I've been doing a 10 week campaign to raise money for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society mm-hmm. uh, as just part of a honor because my uncle is currently fighting stage four lymphoma and he's doing well. Thank goodness. Good, 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 um, good. So this is the last week. We have been asking our listeners to donate 30 ish dollars if they can, because we're a 30 ish minute podcast. You can find, I've tweeted out the link multiple times. The link is also in the uh, bio of my Instagram account, but this week, mm. since it's the last week, I'm going big, you guys. Ooh, big. Here's the deal. Blue in the balls. If anyone... Blue in the balls. Th- this is a big ask, but li- listen to it. Listen to the whole thing. Oh, if yeah. anyone donates at least $500 in Ooh. one donation okay. this week, yes. and you will be at either E3, San Diego Comic-Con, or Gen Con in August, I will take you out for drinks. Yeah. Um, that is my deal. Shame. That is my gift to you guys. And if, that will help with Fuck Cancer Island. Yeah, yeah, if it's E3 or Comic-Con, maybe I'll drag Alex and Tom with me. Woo. Yeah. I don't think you guys oh, are going to yeah. be at Gen Con. Um, Not as of now. No. Um, so that that's I'll, I'm going to post about this on my website, too, so you can see all the details. But that that's the gist. If you donate at least $500 in one donation wow. this week, I will take you out for drinks. That's and it'll amazing. have to obviously awesome. work around my work schedule and all that kind of stuff. And you can't bring like 50 friends with you because I'm not buying them all drinks. <laughs> water. Yeah, water. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Water, water all around. around. You get a beer and there are 50 friends get water. <laughs> anyway, but that that's my thing. It's I just want to do a big push right at the end. And now I'm going to thank the people who donated this Woo. past week. And there are oh, so many. Dear. Amazing. I'm so excited. Uh, all right. I got to thank Daniel Pluta. Uh, he's from Poland, by the way. Yeah, I got donations from around the world. A couple from like Switzerland and Australia, That's a bunch great. from Canada, the UK. It's it's really exciting. Uh, thank you, Josh Weatherly, James Trent, Nicholas Cooper, Carrie Truesdell, Nicole Greco, mm. John Hollingsworth, Gordon Maine, who actually just works some overtime, and every time he does that, he donates to a charity, and oh, he nice. decided to pick ours. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Um, Kevin Maloney, David Pick, who donated because his co-worker just passed away from cancer recently. Uh-huh. Um, so he donated in memory of her. Uh, Allison Scott, Thomas Hollihan, uh, Sarah Jeromini. Yep, there we go. Jeromini. Uh, yeah. Uh, Scott Towson. Um, Baron Jones, who, <laughs> I love this. He's like, my name on my birth certificate, his full name on his birth certificate is Baron Michael Indiana Jones. No! Oh, yeah. Amazing. <laughs> That's the best thing ever. Uh, uh, thank you, Dustin Miller. Uh, Barry Bauman donated a second time wow. oh, just nice. to see if I would pronounce his name right. <laughs> so I'm hoping I did. I don't know. That's but what that I, implies that maybe Barry you donated Bauman. it or you, uh, you misread it the first, the first time. time. Yeah, that's so, what I'm saying. Oh. I'm wondering, so are you reading it differently this time? Yeah, yeah. I, I don't remember how I read it the right, first so time. So I think you're, then you're mispronouncing it in the same Again? way. Shit. Thinking so, you're pronouncing it right. So pronounce it a different way. Or you've got options. <laughs> don't pronounce it a different way, then he might donate again. No, there oh, we go. Smart. Barry Bamen. Barry Bowman. <laughs> so we're going to go with Barry Bowman. All right, let's see it's what happens. Bauman, right? Ba- uh, Bauman? Bauman? Oh, Bauman. Barry Bauman. There we go. The, you need All the right. Brit in here hey, to Barry. figure it out how to do it. I know, seriously. Uh, Chris Jacobson. <laughs> That'd be uh, great if you write and he was like, no, it's pronounced Pepper. Yeah, like, what's wrong with that? Um, You're like, thank oh, you. Barry Pepper. <laughs> That's weird. I didn't realize it was spelled that way. <laughs> Barry Pepper. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Chris Jacobson, uh, Joe Commendatore, who donated thirty dollars for the half hour happy hour, but then four dollars for G four because that's where he started watching me. I love that. Samuel Lizer, Doug Milo. Um, someone donated anonymously, but I laughed my ass off because their note in the comment was "Cancer can go suck a fat one." Nice. So thank you to that anonymous donor. Amazing. Uh, Kia Bright, who actually had surgery last week for a form of cancer. Um, she listened to our podcast while she's been recovering and almost bust a stitch from laughing so hard. Oh, we're so sorry. Yeah. Disclaimer. Wait till yeah. she hears the Disclaimer. Story. Um, and then <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fancy Alicia. 
I oh, think Fancy Alicia. Fancy Alicia, which I think she's written in before and we called her Fancy Alicia. And so yeah. that's how she put her Amazing. name in because I don't think her <laughs> I don't think her full name is Fancy Alicia. Oh, um, and then Greg donated this week hey, to, uh, to come to a charity event. And yes, Tom <gasps> finally <gasps> donated. Tom. Tom finally you. gets thanked on the podcast because we never thank him enough anyway you guys thank you so much for donating again this is the final week all donations have to be in by Friday shoot I forget what time I think it's Friday 5pm Pacific time but mm-hmm. that might be East Coast time so like double check that um, so if you've been waiting around listening going oh I should donate and you haven't yet do this is your Friday. final week do it now pull over get on your phone donate thanks guys it's been awesome um Th- Greg, thank you for joining thank us. Yeah, thank oh, you, Greg. Yeah, thank you, thank where can you. people it's find so much you? Fun. Where can people find me? Like Twitter Currently sat or... sat next on a sofa next to some weird doll. I know, the creepy doll. <laughs> yeah, creepy we doll. We talked about the creepy doll a lot. Why did we sit him next to the creepy doll? Uh, because he's I, the guest. Where else are we going to yeah. sit him? On a stool? <laughs> That'd be silly. <laughs> yeah. Why would yeah. That'd be traditional. One of those leather stools. <laughs> Psh. Uh, yeah, when, yeah, so my name's Greg Foot. Like, you can go to gregfoot.com or like search for the, the best thing since sliced bread mm, podcast. Yeah, that's or, cool. like have a look on YouTube, Earth Lab, or whatever. Just have Are a, you on Twitter and on Instagram Twitter. and all that? Same on Twitter, Greg Foot. Same on Instagram, Greg Foot. Just can you stream to, the. Uh, do, do you guys stream the Heart Radio? Yeah, yeah, there's Drive an app. Time? There's an yeah? app so okay. you can listen to it. Cool. Awesome. Cool. Just, Thank just you for touch. being our first yeah. like in our garage I feel guest. Yeah. When we come to England, can we be on your show? Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Without a doubt. I've just noticed as well. I have this same table. Really? You guys, it's meant to be. It's meant to be. Very British, this table, (laughs) I guess. Not the other Uh, one, but this one. Anyway, hang on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, (laughs) Anyway, thank you all for listening. If you want to email in, you can email us at halfhourhappyhourfans at gmail.com. You can follow us on Twitter, halfhourhappyhr. Uh, please subscribe and rate and validate and pass us on to your friends and all that kind of stuff so we have more listeners. Yay. Um, and thank you for listening. Oh, that's it for this week's episode of the Half Hour Happy Hour with Allison and Alex. Yeah. I'm Allison Hayslip. Wheels are coming off the train. Guys, <laughs> right at the end, though, so I'm it's great. We're in, in the station. Hungover, so. uh, I'm Alex Albright. Thank you guys so much for listening and sitting in with us is the best flight engineer in the history of audio podcasts, Ooh. Tom Super Volcano Krajewski. Thanks for having me. See you guys next week. Cheerio. Now leaving Nerdist.com.